let's get started with announcements. You probably noticed the senior posters in the hallway, and if you haven't, stop and check them out. Also, don't forget May 14th is the senior parade. We would love to see our school there showing support. The Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy will hold an event on Saturday, May 14th, 2022 at the Curry Military Museum. We'll have more on this fundraiser and how you can participate in next week's newscast. We would like to congratulate Adriana and Loriana Brooks for being named the Stevens County Development Students of the Month for March. They are both employed at Dairy Queen in Sokoa and both are work-based learning students here at SEHS. They receive the recognition because they are both exceptional workers. Keep up the great work. If you are looking for a summer job and are also interested in becoming part of the work-based learning program, see Ms. Bartmas or Mr. Pipkin in the CTAE wing. We also want to recognize senior Mitchell Porter. He recently competed in a statewide tech competition and won a great prize. Here is more on what he won. Congratulations to SCHS senior Mitchell Porter. After competing in a statewide high school high tech competition this year, Mitch was selected as one of the only 43 students in the state to receive a brand new laptop to take with him to college. Uh, I had to do a PowerPoint or essay. I did PowerPoint and I just listed off reasons why I think I just should get one, I should earn one. They uh, came down, shake my hand, and congratulated me on winning it. And so I'm honestly really grateful that they let me go in the competition because my family's not doing well and I, I got a free computer at it. This is Brianna Jaworski reporting for SETV. We also want to congratulate everyone who competed at State for FFA. Carrie Cowan is a state champion in senior prepared public speaking. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Aiden Cross has been hitting the streets of Tacoa again. This week, he stops by a new restaurant that recently opened downtown. I'm Aiden Cross, and this is r, &R Prime, a new fancy restaurant around Tacoa with roses and rampage and burgers. When we were thinking of different opportunities um, to invest in the community, we decided uh, one thing that this town did not have was a kind of a more upscale uh, restaurant, and so we decided to open on our prime. With fresh ingredients and amazing items, it's no wonder R&R Prime's entrees are taking Tacoa by storm. Alongside their entrancing entrees, they also serve delicious desserts that are locally made. So for rockin' steak, burgers, and cheesy tomatoes, come on down to R&R Prime, where you can find the best rampaging food on the planet. This has been Aiden Cross with SCTV. Now it's time to get a sports update. Today at the sports desk, we have Ethan Scroggs and Wesley Vickers. Thanks ladies. We have had a full week of sports. Both the girls and the boys tennis teams faced off last week at Westminster in the third round of states. They fought hard but ended up losing the match. Congratulations to both tennis teams for a great season. Last Thursday, baseball played a doubleheader at Rockmar and caught a huge win. They won both games with the final scores being 7-3 and 5-0. Baseball also played another doubleheader on Wednesday at Burke County for the second round of playoffs. They lost the first game having a score of 7-1. But they came back strong for the second game winning 5-1. Cruz Mullinax had an outstanding game throwing a no-hitter. They faced Burke County again on Thursday and we'll have a full recap of that next week. Softball tryouts have been changed to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. On Tuesday, Walker Thompson, Bryson Tremere, and Vidal Fleming signed to play football at the University of Pikeville. The University of Pikeville is a D1 school in Eastern Kentucky. Congrats boys on this great achievement. You've made Stevens County proud. That's all we have for this week. Now back to you ladies. The Spanish Hall celebrated Cinco de Mayo this week. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Some of the Spanish classes have been studying about Cinco de Mayo. We caught up with one of the students to find out more about the holiday. What is Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo is when a small volunteer Mexican army defeated a huge French army at the Battle of Puebla and boosted morale. They have also been busy decorating the Spanish hallways and making piñatas. This is my piñata. We made them in Spanish and I have named it Pinky and it's a butterfly. This is Chloe Harding reporting for SCTV.
This past week was also Teacher Appreciation Week. We felt we hope you all felt appreciated. Thanks for watching.